Welcome back to the showtime now for your Toronto FC Academy update with Thomas Rongan. And uh, Thomas, uh, uh, it's normally always busy for all the Academy teams, but uh, just the, the one game uh, this weekend. Yeah, we had one game this weekend with our uh, senior uh, Academy team coach, but Danny Dicchio uh, got another good result in a tight game, 4-3. Uh, second uh, consecutive game that Jordan Hamilton scores the, uh, the winner late against the North York Hearts. Uh, so... You know, for, for us, again, the important things are that we continue to build on uh, certain themes within the academy. And for our senior squad, it's, uh, you know, the last stage before they make the jump to the first uh, team. And it's given uh, young players, but also some, some guys uh, like Manny Aparicio that uh, uh, has been in with our first team, that Ryan Nelson uh, thinks highly of to continue to be in, in competitive environments. So a good result for our uh, senior squad that had five players actually missing that were playing in Pittsburgh uh, against the USL team with our reserve team, uh, like Chris Wagenet, like uh, Dylan Sacramento, uh, like Eli Robles. So the combination of playing for our senior team and our reserve team gives our young players, uh, you know, that developmental pathway uh, to our first team. So it's been, uh, from that standpoint, uh, an excellent uh, exercise. Uh, now talk about uh, Ante Jasek. Obviously, you've talked to him now because he's the U15, a Canadian coach, a new position for him, and you had some of your members of your academy uh, out with him. Yeah, I mean, we had nine players uh, uh, with uh, Ante in Montreal for about a week. Uh, I spoke to Ante yesterday. He was very, very pleased with uh, the level of play, in particular from uh, Toronto FC. It also had uh, Vancouver, Montreal, and Edmonton. So it really uh, was a squad made up out of uh, all the professional academies in, in Canada. It's a new initiative uh, put together by Tony uh, Fonseca. And Tony had said, we like to get younger. We like to get younger players, more international experience. So when they eventually get to our senior team, they have maybe 50 or 60 international games under their belt. And this team will go uh, to Mexico to play in a competitive environment and, and tournament in, in early August. And we'd like to think that uh, the majority of the team will be, again, uh, made up out of Toronto FC players. So a good performance, a great week of training uh, with competition, which, again, is important for the elite players in, uh, in Canada. All right, and uh, Sean Fleming, uh, the U16 Canadian coach, is coming out from uh, Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, talk about uh, how your players are going to be involved with Sean. Well, I mean, we, we had obviously had five players involved in the qualifying process in Panama not too long ago where uh, Sean's team made it to the Under-17 uh, World Cup, uh, which will happen in, in October. And he feels that um, being here, he gets not only an opportunity to watch those five players again, that includes Eli Robles, Jordan uh, Hamilton, uh, Kevon Black, uh, uh, Sequeira, uh, and Ian Fernandez, and that he maybe can even add one or two players because we feel we have one or two players that he needs to look uh, at in a, in, a, in a good environment. Uh, so he's coming in. We're putting an inter-squad game together for him with those players and the addition of uh, a few other uh, local players for him to assess where he's at and if he can make some uh, improvements on his, uh, on his squad. So the relationship between Toronto FC and the CSA is healthy, is good, um, and, and that's important for us, obviously, because it gives our players, again, another platform uh, to continue uh, to play at the highest level, be it here or with the respective uh, uh, youth national teams. All right, uh, plenty going on and uh, yeah. lots of opportunity uh, on a national level for the, uh, the players here at Toronto FC's Academy. Uh, for this Academy update, uh, thank you very much, uh, Thomas Rongan. You're welcome. Thank you.